Hi guys, this is Gabriel from Solitech. I'm just doing a quick video just to show you how we can uh, change the serial number in our SolidWorks installation. Now the reason we want to do this is if we're going from a troll version to a full version or a standalone uh, version to a network uh, version of SolidWorks and these will include its different serial numbers to the one that we use to install it. So what we can do is we just have SolidWorks open and we can have a quick look at the actual serial number that we're using. You can see in the about we get SolidWorks and package that we get, uh, the service pack and there's our serial number. So that's the one we want to change. So if we just hit OK we can close SolidWorks now. What I want to do is go into my computer or computer as it's known in Windows 7 and just hit open control panel. We get to the control panel we want to scroll down all the way to where it says programs and features. Here it is. We get the list of the programs that we've got installed. If we just scroll all the way down we'll actually find SolarWorks 2012. We want to select this and then we hit change. Now this is going to change the installation. Now when we see the first page we actually get a few different options. Um, what we actually want to do is modify but I'll just quickly go through the other options we hit repair, we just use the whole installation package that we have and just reinstall all of the packages. Um, the administrative images, if you want to install it on many computers, we just create one image with a serial number and all the options so we don't have to do it over and over in all the different computers. Server products, uh, if we want to have a workgroup PDM, we need a server so we need to install it after we install the main SolarWorks package. SolarWorks Network License Manager, that's if you have a network license and download only. If you actually want to download the files from the uh, internet server and then use it on your computer so that you can share it around later. Uh, what we want to go to is go to Modify and just hit Next. Here we can see the serial numbers. Uh, the top of package, the top line is where we have our standard SolWorks serial number. If we have any other serial numbers as well, we can put them in. You can see I've got the FlowSim serial as well. At this point, this is what I want to change. We go through and we actually type in a new serial number or just copy and paste. Once we're finished with that, just hit next and you can see that SolarWorks is connecting to the internet and it's just double checking to make sure if we have any new packages that we're entitled to or anything like that. So you can see it might take a little bit. It really depends on your internet connection. So as you can see, it checked on the internet and it can show us that we have SolarWorks Premium and all the packages that we're entitled to. So you can see really I don't need to change anything because it should already be there. You can see it's not trying to add any products, it's not trying to remove any products either. Um, if we want to we can also just quickly double check what options we have. You can see in the download options it's really just grayed out all the stuff that we can't change. Just make sure that background downloader is off and install only and just the in installation location, it really can't change this because we're modifying our installation and it's telling me I'm installing it from a location on my on my hard drive. And the toolbox location, I can't change it at all because I'm again I'm modifying it. So after we've just double checked all our settings, um, we just hit modify now. Because this is a solid uh, network license, um, it's actually asking me to put in a port in the server and we just hit OK. We can just usually accept the default. You can see it's really quick. All it needs to do is just update that serial and then we're done. So we just hit OK. Just hit finish, sorry. If I want to just open up my SolarWorks again, I quickly open it up. I should be able to see the new um, serial number in the help and about. Help about SolidWorks and there's a new serial number. Alright guys, any questions just send it through. Thanks for listening. Bye.